All right. On the filament website, if we head to the documentation page, it walks you quite easily through how to install it. But essentially, for installation of this, all we need to do is compose a required, and then it will be on your project. So I'm going to head in and open the terminal. We're just going to install this version of filament. Now, in itself, this won't do anything because we need to essentially have a panel. So if you're a Windows user, uh, just make sure you, if you use PowerShell, you may need to um, use the command below just to ensure that it works properly. Then while we install the panel, it will ask us what the first admin panel ID should be. Now the ID would be in this case, so if we head into our ENB file, you can see we have this HTTP URL, but we're going to call this HTTP slash filament beginner course the test in this case the id would be if we just go here slash admin so i know there's nothing but if you wanted to call this something different and you want to call it slash dashboard instead that would also work it's perfectly up to you how you would want to do this but if we do that you will have the ul like that now you can have multiple panels so if you want to have different panels to access for users that's fine as well i would highly recommend going on the repository page for filament and giving it a star and outside of that if we refresh now we will get this login page here now this novel text is based on the name in here so we can go ahead and just call this filament me for beginner course and there we go now in order to access this panel we just need to create a user In this case, we can just create a user with any password and let's head in to slash admin. And there we go. We have a panel. We have user icon up here. You can change between dark and light mode. And we can essentially now get started on making this a decent admin panel and adding more information in here and taking it step by step. What also has happened while we've run this command to install the panel here is that we've gone ahead and inside our providers, we've created a folder called filament using this command and it creates an admin panel provider or whatever you decide to call this panel. It provides you with the path so you can customize it here. You can change the ID of it. You can change the color of the panel, the theming of it and so much more. There's a lot to go through and walk over, but essentially this file is where we can configure the very core part of the panel and we will take a look at how we can play around with that later but for now we're just going to leave it as it is and just to demonstrate this I'm going to go ahead and change this to violet so we have a violet color instead because it looks a bit better in my view and we will go ahead and work on more over the next few videos.